Reading, writing, and a final resting place. When you think of young students going to school, you think of them in a classroom, perhaps a playground. Yeah, but one thing, one school's changing things up. They're turning a cemetery into a classroom to teach the kids about nature and plant life. And News Force Erica Byfield headed outside to class. Has anyone ever thought they could use the sun to take a picture before? No. That sounds crazy, right? That sounds about as strange as four and five year olds visiting Greenwood Cemetery to learn about leaves, but it happened Thursday when preschoolers scouted foliage next to a cluster of headstones. Twinsies. From chatting with the students. I picked a big leaf. I'm having a nice time at Greenwood. You wouldn't know if they know where they were, but their teacher told us they do. Um, but the questions are always very like matter of fact, and they're like, are people under our feet? And we're like, yeah. And they're like, cool. Um, I don't think they totally understand at this age, but they're like curious and interested. The students visit this cemetery weekly. One day they're here to learn about bugs, another day seeds, or possibly history. Phoenix's top pick happened a few months back. It was another trip when we went to see angel fairies. This lesson was about getting them to touch, better understand science, from selecting greenery, smashing it between pieces of blue and black paper. Quick, 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 and then hide it. Next, exposing the sprig, and then setting it out in the direct sun. We often have kids, um, you know, stick a leaf in their pocket on the way home or want to take a flower with them, so this is a way to capture it permanently. This unique opportunity sort of presented itself. Their school, PS 958, is literally right next door to the cemetery. In addition, Green One prides itself on its commitment to education. It partners with Sunset Spark. So PS 958's administration applied for a neighborhood grant. Part of the reason that this program was especially exciting is that it brings together different parts of the community. Eventually, the cemetery staff soaked the canvases, revealing nearly perfect photos of leaves. I thought it looked beautiful. It feels like we're giving them exposure to something that they may not have had previously or otherwise. The exposure, nature. That was cool. The kind of wonderment Greenwood wants to embrace while it also honors the dead. Today was the student's last visit to this cemetery. They should be back out here again in the fall. In Brooklyn, Erica Byfield News 4, New York. One other note about Greenwood Cemetery, a magnet for history buffs because the list of celebrities, artists, and sports legends buried there. Construction is underway on a $34 million education and welcome center to display the cemetery's historic art and archives.